हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आई क्वांटा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस थर्ड सेट ऑफ आई सीरीज वेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग सिंपलर वे टू सॉल्व प्रीवियस ईयर कैट एल सेट्स नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कैट 2021 फर्स्ट स्लॉट क्वेश्चन नाउ दिस इज द क्वेश्चन गंगा कावेरी नर्मदा आर थ्री वुमेन हु बाय फोर रॉ मटेरियल्स मैंगो एप्पल बनाना एंड मिल्क एंड सेल फाइव फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट्स मैंगो स्मूदी एप्पल स्मूदी बनाना स्मूदी मिक्स फ्रूट स्मूदी एंड फ्रूट सैलड टेबल वन दिस इज टेबल वन गिव्स इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द रॉ मटेरियल्स रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रोड्यूस फाइव फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट वन यूनिट ऑफ अ फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट रिक्वायर्स वन यूनिट ऑफ ईच ऑफ द रॉ मटेरियल्स मैंशन इन द सेकेंड कॉलम ऑफ द टेबल सो बेसिकली इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक वन मैंगो स्मूदी what i will need is one unit of mango and one unit of milk now it says one unit of milk mango apple and banana cost 5 rupees 3 rupees 2 rupees 1 rupees respectively so from here we can find out the cost price for each finished product each unit of a finished product is sold for a profit equal to two times the number of raw materials used to make that product now example is given for this statement it says For example, apple smoothie is made with two raw materials, apple and milk, which is here, right? Will be sold for a profit of four rupees per unit. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? Can we say the cost price for apple smoothie will be cost price of one apple and one unit of milk? So, one unit apple cost two rupees. One unit of milk cost five rupees. So, cost price can we say in this case will be? Seven rupees, and will be sold for a profit of four rupees per unit. Why? Because we have used two raw materials here. So in this case, SP will be seven plus four, eleven rupees. And similarly, we can find out cost price and selling price for each finished product. Now, rest of the informations are given, and these are the questions. So if you want, you can take your time, pause the video, try to solve this set. Okay. and then move forward it's a very interesting set you would want to enjoy this now what does it say it says no one except possibly ganga sold any mango smoothie okay no one except ganga sold any mango smoothie each woman sold either zero or one unit of any single product in any hour so no one has sold Two unit of any finished product or more than two, it's either zero or one unit. Each woman had exactly one unit, each of the two different raw materials as leftovers. And fourth point says no one had any banana leftovers. So basically, it says that at the end of the business hours, each of these women had exactly two raw materials left, but it's not banana. so we can say it could be milk and mango or mango and apple or milk and apple right now before we proceed further we should read this information which is about table 2 it says the amount in rupees received from sales revenue for each woman in each of the four business hours of the day is given in table 2 so this is our table 2 you can see these are the revenues for each hour now there is one thing to notice what does it say it says left over raw materials are sold during the last business hour of the day for a loss of 1 rupees per unit now we know that each woman have exactly two raw materials left over one unit each so let's say if it is mango and milk and each will be sold for 1 rupees loss so mango is 3 milk is 5 can we say this will be sold for 2 plus 4 6 rupees similarly if it is mango and apple then this will be sold for 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 rupees then comes milk and apple so these two will be sold for 
फोर प्लस वन विच इज फाइव रुपीज बट यू कैन सी इन द लास्ट आवर रिवेन्यूज आर ग्रेटर देन दीज रिवेन्यूज आर थर्टी ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी टू वॉट वी कैन से कैन वी से इन द लास्ट आवर ईच ऑफ दीज वुमेन हैव सोल्ड द लेफ्ट ओवर्स रॉ मेटेरियल एज वेल एज सम फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट ऑल्सो दैट्स वाई द अमाउंट इज ग्रेटर देन दिस राइट सो वी नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस ऑल्सो now let's try to understand who sold what in which hour so we know that for mango smoothie cost will be 8 rupees selling price will be 12 why is it 12 because there are two raw materials used and each raw material we are adding 2 rupees as a profit so 8 plus 4 12 rupees in case of apple smoothie cost price is 7 selling price is 11 In case of banana smoothie, cost price is six rupees, selling price is ten rupees. In case of mixed fruit smoothie, there are three, there are three, not three, there are four raw materials used in mixed fruit smoothie: mango, apple, banana, and milk. So profit will be four into two, eight rupees. Cost price will be eleven rupees, and selling price will be nineteen rupees. In case of fruit salad, there are three raw materials used: mango. apple and banana so in this case cost price will be 6 rupees and selling price will be 12 rupees now let's try to understand let's try to understand who could have sold what in which hour now ganga has sold has sold revenue have achieved revenue of 23 rupees so you can see we can achieve 23 either by 12 plus 11 here or 12 plus 11 here so we have two possibilities for ganga right she could have sold mango and apple smoothies or she could have sold fruit salad and apple smoothie both of these are possible right now in second hour ganga revenue is 21 rupees we can achieve 21 rupees in only one way this is where it gets interesting very interesting 11 plus 10 it looks difficult but as as you go forward in this question you will see that it's just like a simple sudoku puzzle everything is coming apart one by one so only possibility in our two ganga sold one unit of apple smoothie and one unit of banana smoothie we cannot achieve 21 in any other way now in case of 29 once again only 19 and 10 so 10 means banana smoothie and 19 means mixed fruits smoothie now what about 30 so in case of 30 think about this what do we know as per the leftovers we can say as per the leftovers if leftovers are mango and milk so we will sell it as 2 plus 4 in 6 rupees okay these women will sell it in 1 rupee loss each unit what if it's mango and apple the leftovers are mango and apples then they will have to sell it 1 rupees loss on each unit so it will be 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 rupees right and in case of apple and mango in case of apple and mango it will be 1 rupees plus for mango it's 2 rupees so once again it will be Uh, i have taken mango already there so we need to take milk here so in case of apple and milk as leftovers it will be 4 plus 1 5 rupees okay now think about this ganga could have sold either either mango and milk then in that case she will be left with 24 as revenue by selling fresh product now in case of in case of mango and apple she could have sold 27 rupees from finished product okay and 25 rupees if her leftovers raw materials were apple and milk right now you can see can we achieve 24 here yes we can achieve 24 here from mango and fruit salad mango and fruit salad right 27 can we achieve 27 here 27 is not possible 
then can we achieve 25 year 25 is also not possible so using this pattern you will see that this is very easy to figure out okay we just need to remember one thing that kaveri and narmada has not sold any of mango smoothie mango smoothie is only sold by ganga so after doing this we can achieve this table which is very easily deduction okay now see in case of our one ganga must have sold mango smoothie or and apple smoothie or fruit salad salad and apple smoothie and similarly for everyone else in case of kaveri in last hour we will have two options c could have sold apple smoothie banana smoothie and as per raw materials c could have sold milk and mango or second option is fruit salad and banana smoothie and as per raw materials it could be milk and apple okay so this is the final table now let's let's try to solve this question one by one what does it say it says what best can be concluded about the number of units of fruit salad sold in first hour so fruit salad sold in first hour one i can see here can we say in this case it could be zero or one right we don't know sir it's for certainly that it's fruit salad or mango smoothie but in this case it's certain one so can we say that number of number of units of fruit salad sold in the first hour will be either zero plus one which is one or one plus one which is two so it will be either one or two right now next is which of the following is necessarily true now you can see these questions are very easy after this table narmada sold one unit of leftover milk narmada sold one unit of leftover milk this is wrong right this is wrong kaveri sold one unit of leftover mango kaveri sold one unit of leftover mango it's a possibility but it's not necessarily true right it could have been any of these two option ganga did not sell any leftover apples so ganga did not sell any leftover apples yes it's true it's true it's necessarily true so we can just mark it okay we don't need to check fourth option now for the third question it says what best can be concluded about the total number of units of milk the three women had in the beginning total number of milk units right so where do we use milk we use milk in mango smoothie apple smoothie banana smoothie and in mixed fruit mixed mixed uh, what was that mixed fruit smoothie we are using milk in these four we are not using any milk in f so we need to check all the milk so in case of here you can see milk smoothie apple smoothie fruit salad apple smoothie so in this case it will be two unit of milk needed and in this case it will be one unit of milk needed so it will be either one or two in first hour by ganga in this case it will be exactly two units in this case also it will be exactly two units now in this case we need one unit here one unit here so two units here right now in case of kaveri one unit of milk is needed here one unit of milk is needed here then two units of milk is needed here now in this case any of these cases you can see in this case it will be either two plus one three or it will be two so it will be two or three units of milk needed in last hour right now in case of narmada one unit of milk is needed in mixed fruit smoothie two units of milk is needed here one unit of milk is needed here now in this case in this case one unit of milk is needed here so how much is that if you calculate all these what do we get so 2 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 so it's either 7 or 8 in this case it will be 2 plus 2 6 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 or 7 now in this case what do we get in this case we are getting certainly 5 right we are getting certainly 5 Uh, i guess i have made a mistake uh, no 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 uh, it's all okay so how much is that if you calculate this 7 plus 6 plus 
how much is this 18 18 will be minimum milk units needed units of milk needed okay by three women and maximum will be 8 plus 7 15 plus 5 20 so it's good it could be 18 or 19 or 20 so our answer is option a all right now next is next is question number four it says if it is known that three leftover units of mangoes were sold during the last business hours of the day how many apple smoothies were sold during the day how many apple smoothies were so we need to check what's the possibility when three units of mangoes leftover were sold see one mango is here one mango is here and one mango is here it means we need to discard this case right and if you are discarding this case how many apple how many apple so in this case in any case we are getting one one and in this case no apple smoothie right so two then we get one here we get one here two for kaveri also then we are getting one here one here and not here right so two plus two plus two what's the answer can we say this is a theta problem you have to type in the answer in this case so what's the answer six apple smoothies right so with this we are done with this set okay let me know if you like this video or not okay was this any helpful i will come back with fourth set of ilrdi series very soon thank you bye bye